Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a lodestone. So, I am of course going to do this in creative, because this will be faster if I do this way. So what we're going to need, we're going to need a stone cutter, and then some stone. That's pretty simple, right? So put that down, put it in your stone, and what you're looking for is chiseled stone bricks. So pull that out. Okay, we got our chiseled stone bricks. Now what you also need is to make um, a netherite ingot. Now the way you find it, I just pulled out what's called ancient debris. Um, what you need to do is you need to go mining for the ancient debris, which you find uh, the layers, you typically find diamond in the nether, and you just go mining until you find them, and you have to use a diamond pickaxe on them, and they're kind of rare. But all you need is four of them. So you go and you get four of them, and then you go and you put them in a furnace, I don't think I'll show you this, I'll just tell you. You would put it in the furnace, cook it, and then you get a netherite scrap. Now after you get the netherite scrap, whoops, which looks like this, you will also then need gold. You need four gold and four netherite scraps. You put them in the crafting table and go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter which order you put them in, just as long as there's four of them. And then you get another ingot. Pretty simple, right? Well, you're actually almost done. You only have one step left. Come to the crafting table again. Now take your chiseled stone bricks, put it all the way around, but not in the middle, because that's where you're going to put your netherite ingot. Boom. So, those together like that, netherite ingot right there. You then get your lodestone. That's pretty cool, huh? Well, you can put that lodestone down, and that basically changes... I'm going to say basically. Basically it changes where the compass points for the spawn, and it works in any dimension that it's put in, but it doesn't work simultaneously with a separate dimension. So if you used it here, and you went to the overworld, it wouldn't work. You'd have to use it while it's still here, and if you want to use an overworld, you'd have to take it to the overworld. Now, I'm going to do something. I'll show you how it happens. Pull out a compass. Now, watch what it's doing. This is important. You see how it's not pointing to the lodestone yet? It's because it's not connected to it. you got to connect it. Just right click. Now in creative it gave me a second one, but in survival it'll just add the effect to your compass. But then it says lodestone compass and it shines like this. Now that compass will point to that all the time unless it is broken. But isn't that cool? So if you want to find a way to a specific place, you just make sure you have one of these and a compass. And then, you know, the day back in the day when you had to use whatever place you spawned at to make your compass get you back home. Those days are over officially. That's right. You now can use a lodestone compass and use that lodestone right there and you can go anywhere you want, find an awesome biome, put those down and then your compass you can use it to get back. Isn't that great? I love this new update. New other update is awesome. But anyways now you know how to make a lodestone. Pretty cool. Pretty cool.